Hey everyone, Top Tanti here from GlideFast Consulting. Today I'm going to give you a quick demo of the knowledge versioning functionality that came with the Jakarta release. So first thing we're going to do is head on over to the knowledge application and we'll take a look at published articles. Here you'll notice there is a new version column and these are all in version 1.0. So we'll take a look at KB19. Now on the form you'll see the version field being displayed and you'll also see the checkout button up at the top. Down at the bottom, you'll see an article versions related list as well. So let's say you wanted to make an edit to this article. You would simply just hit your checkout button. And you'll notice you are now on version 1.01. .01. So the primary version was 1.0, but because you are making edits to this article, you're at 1.01. .01. And as soon as you publish this and the article has been approved, the version, the major version will be 2.0. So we'll go ahead and make a quick edit here and go ahead and hit the publish button. So the article is going to follow the default workflow for that particular knowledge base. So in this case, it does require approval, which I'm going to give on my other screen here. And I'll go ahead and refresh this page. So now that I have approved that newest article, you can see version 2.0 is now the active version for KB19. We can pop in here and we can see that our edits were published, version 2.0 up at, up at the top. And then down at the bottom, you can see a list of all of the article versions. Now as a regular end user, this would be the way they would be viewing the article from the knowledge base. So you can see a couple new things here. You have the latest version. And if you go ahead and click on this up at the top, you have version 1.0 and you can see version 2.0 is listed in bold, highlighting that this is the most recent version. And a user can also click into version 1.0 if they wanted to see what it looked like in the past version. And you would also notice that it is listed as outdated. So there you have it, a very quick, simple demo of the knowledge versioning functionality. This is something that's been widely requested by ServiceNow customers, so we're excited that it's here in the Jakarta release. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at info at glidefast.com. And thanks for watching.